this 50th anniversary year will be a time for reflection on the lessons of the past. As we celebrate our achievements as an independent nation, we need to complete the circle of independence. In this regard, we will, therefore, initiate the process of our detachment from the monarchy, from the monarchy to become a republic with our own indigenous president as head of state. Portia Lucretia Simpson Miller, born on December 12, 1945 in Wood Hall, St. Catherine, Jamaica, is a prominent figure in Jamaican politics with a career spanning several decades. She has played a crucial role in shaping the nation's political landscape. From her humble beginnings to her rise as Jamaica's first and only female prime minister, Simpson Miller's journey is a testament to determination, leadership, and a commitment to social change. Growing up in the rural community of Wood Hall, Simpson Miller experienced the challenges of poverty and limited resources. Despite these hardships, she exhibited a strong academic aptitude and an early interest in social justice. After completing her primary education, she attended the Myco Teachers College, where she honed her leadership skills and developed a passion for community advocacy. Simpson Miller's political career began in the 1970s when she joined the People's National Party, one of Jamaica's major political parties. Her grassroots work and dedication to uplifting the marginalized communities quickly gained her recognition within the party. In 1976, she was elected as a councillor in the Kingston and St. Andrew Corporation, marking the start of her formal political journey. Throughout the years, Simpson Miller held various ministerial positions including Minister of Labour and Social Security, Minister of Tourism and Sports, and Minister of Local Government and Community Development. Her dedication to improving the lives of Jamaicans, particularly those from disadvantaged backgrounds, earned her a reputation as a champion for the people. Simpson Miller made history in 2006 when she became Jamaica's first female Prime Minister. Her election marked a significant milestone for gender equality and women's empowerment in the country. I call on every Jamaican to be the very best that you can be as a mother, father, a professional or business owner, an artist or public servant, and a neighbor. Be the best that you can be. Fulfill your greatest potential. Never forget to lend a helping hand to your brothers and sisters. Let us build our communities and participate in the governance of our country. This is how we continue to build our nation. As Prime Minister, she focused on issues such as poverty reduction, health care reform, and education enhancement. Her policies aimed to create a more inclusive society and address the pressing needs of Jamaicans from all walks of life. The internal dynamics of the People's National Party were not always conducive to female leadership. Portia Simpson Miller's ambitions faced opposition from certain quarters, including within her own party. The party had a history of male leadership, and breaking that tradition required significant effort and determination. As she advanced within the party ranks, she had to navigate complex power struggles and prove her capabilities in a political environment where women were traditionally underrepresented. Simpson Miller's ascent to power was a direct challenge to deeply entrenched gender stereotypes in Jamaican politics. Her campaign for leadership faced skepticism from some who believed that a woman might not possess the same qualities of strength, leadership, and decisiveness as her male counterparts. Yet, she steadfastly defied these stereotypes, showcasing her ability to connect with the people, articulate her vision, and navigate complex policy discussions. One of the most significant moments in Portia Simpson Miller's journey to becoming Prime Minister was her leadership campaign against Peter Phillips. At a party convention held in 2006, she went head-to-head -head with Phillips for the position of PNP president, which carried the implicit prospect of becoming Prime Minister due to the party's majority in the Jamaican Parliament. Despite facing challenges and doubts from within the party, 
Simpson Miller rallied her supporters and ran a spirited campaign. Her ability to connect with everyday Jamaicans, empathize with their struggles, and communicate her commitment to uplifting the marginalized segments of society set her apart. In a closely contested race, she emerged victorious, securing the presidency of the People's National Party and paving the way for her historic ascent to the position of Prime Minister. Portia Simpson Miller's victory over Peter Phillips was more than just a political triumph. It was a symbol of progress, gender equality, and a changing societal mindset. Her leadership demonstrated that women could excel in leadership roles traditionally dominated by men, shattering the glass ceiling in Jamaican politics and inspiring women across the nation to pursue their ambitions fearlessly. In this regard, our country is making considerable progress, and everywhere, at home and abroad, the truth is being spoken that Jamaica is moving up and on. The sacrifice of our people is recognized and respected. Much respect is due to every citizen who, in the interest of our country, has heeded the call for greater social discipline, industry, innovation, cultural creativity, and economic self-reliance. Portia Simpson Miller's journey to becoming Prime Minister of Jamaica was marked by her resolute determination to challenge gender norms, break down barriers, and make a meaningful impact on the lives of her fellow citizens. Standing against prominent male members of the People's National Party, including Peter Phillips, she showcased her leadership qualities, resilience, and commitment to social justice. Her legacy as a trailblazer in Jamaican politics continues to inspire women and girls to aspire to leadership roles and contribute positively to their communities, regardless of gender constraints. Portia Simpson Miller's tenure as Prime Minister was marked by her dedication to social justice and her efforts to empower the marginalized. Her ability to connect with the people on a personal level and her commitment to addressing their concerns endeared her to many. Beyond her political accomplishments, she became a symbol of hope for women and girls across Jamaica, proving that leadership knows no gender boundaries. During Portia Simpson Miller's tenure as Prime Minister of Jamaica, she focused on several key areas of development, including the economy, infrastructure, and improving the lives of Jamaicans. While her policies faced challenges and critiques, her government implemented various initiatives aimed at fostering economic growth, enhancing infrastructure, and addressing social issues. Simpson Miller's government took measures to stabilize Jamaica's economy, including efforts to reduce inflation and maintain fiscal discipline. Her administration worked to reduce the country's high debt burden, negotiating agreements with international institutions to secure favorable terms, and fiscal sustainability. As Minister of Tourism prior to becoming Prime Minister, Simpson Miller emphasized the importance of the tourism industry as a major driver of economic growth. Her government continued to promote and invest in the tourism sector. The government under Simpson Miller invested in road construction and improvement projects to enhance transportation networks and connectivity across the island. The administration initiated housing projects to address the housing needs of low-income families, focusing on providing affordable and adequate housing solutions. Efforts were made to diversify Jamaica's energy sources with an emphasis on renewable energy development, such as wind and solar power. The government implemented social safety net programs aimed at providing assistance to vulnerable populations, including cash transfer programs and school feeding initiatives. Investments were made to improve the education system, including infrastructure upgrades, teacher training, and efforts to increase access to quality education. Initiatives were undertaken to enhance health care services, including upgrading medical facilities, increasing access to health care in underserved areas, and improving public health programs. Jamaica has produced a wealth of human capital that continues to be our greatest national asset for economic growth. It is our people, supported by a system of quality education and world-class training, that will provide the next great leap forward for our nation. 
Simpson Miller's leadership as Jamaica's first female prime minister served as an inspiration for women and girls, promoting the importance of women's participation in leadership roles. Her government advocated for policies and programs aimed at advancing gender equality and empowering women economically and socially. It's important to note that while Portia Simpson Miller's administration made efforts in these areas, the challenges facing Jamaica, including its high debt, crime rates, and other socioeconomic issues, required sustained and comprehensive efforts that extended beyond her time in office. Additionally, her policies and decisions were subject to various factors, including economic constraints and political dynamics. Simpson Miller's legacy also extends beyond specific policies and initiatives. Her presence as a leader, her commitment to social justice, and her efforts to uplift marginalized communities contributed to her lasting impact on the lives of Jamaicans and the trajectory of the country's development. After her time as Prime Minister, Simpson Miller continued to be active in Jamaican politics and remained an influential voice within the People's National Party. She also maintained her commitment to community development and social causes. Her legacy serves as an inspiration for future generations of leaders in Jamaica and beyond. Portia Simpson Miller's life story is one of resilience, perseverance, and transformative leadership, from her humble beginnings in Woodhall to her historic role as Jamaica's first female prime minister, she has left an indelible mark on the nation's political history. Her unwavering dedication to the welfare of the people and her advocacy for social change have solidified her place as a trailblazer in Jamaican politics and a beacon of hope for those striving to make a positive impact on their communities.